An NHL insider reveals details on the upcoming Mitch Marner extension, as well as the Leafs ECHL affiliate Newfoundland Growlers have been terminated by the league. And I'll break it all down for you coming up on this episode of Hattrick HQ. But before you into it, just want to say if you're one of the thousands of people watching this that aren't subscribed to the channel and you like hockey, you enjoy, uh, you know, NHL updates daily and you're looking for a home for that, you're going to find it right here at Hattrick HQ. So with that said, let's get right into the first topic of the video today which is Marner Extension coming. And yes, on his recent 32 Thoughts podcast, Elliot Freeman uh, talked... Uh, discuss the least plans for Marner and how they know that he and Matthews want to play together. He says, I do think it's their goal to keep Marner. I, do I don't have any doubt. I think they know Marner and Matthews want to play with each other. I believe that's been a conversation in the past where Matthews has made it very clear that he wants to play with Marner and Marner has made it clear that he's happy to do it. And look, at the end of the day, there's still going to be a negotiation. We'll see where that goes, and we're going to, and we are going to punt that to the summer because they're not going to do that now. But obviously, I believe their long distance plan is to keep them together for a long time. And obviously, if you're Toronto Maple Leafs fans, a uh, fan, this is a this is great news to hear because you know Mitch Marner and Austin Matthews have been that dominant one-two punch up on that top line for the Toronto Maple Leafs all season and for quite some time. So hearing from a reputable source. Here, in Elliot Freeman that they want to keep these guys together. They want to give Mitch Marner an extension for uh, this this coming summer during the offseason is great news to hear because everybody knows how dominant this you know pairing of Matthews and Marner is. So having them back together for potentially you know six to eight years could be really great for this hockey club in, in years where they're looking to contend and looking to win a Stanley Cup while these guys are at their peak. I think this is great news. Obviously, you have uh, Matthews locked up right now. You have Nylander locked up. So getting Marner locked up as well. These are your top three guys and, and having them over a, a long-term span here with their extensions would be really great for this team, obviously, uh, because, you know, like I said, they're in the window where they want to win a Stanley Cup and I think they have the three guys here the big three uh, I guess you could say to do this with Mariner Matthews and Nylander I know what a lot of you guys are thinking though where are they going to get the money to and stuff like this but I mean, they still have 15 million or, or more to work with this offseason. The extension wouldn't kick in next year. It would kick in the year after. So, uh, you know, <clears throat> that's one thing to take note here as well. Uh, so, uh, hearing that this could be done over the summer could be uh, could be great news. It would alleviate any stress going into next season, like they did this year, where you know the the likelihood of, or the un you know the unlikeliness of Nylander's future was was in jeopardy. We weren't sure if he was going to get traded. We weren't sure if he was going to get extended. But eventually, they did come to terms with a deal, and he has been extended. So if you get this done in the summer, then you go into the season, I guess you could say, stress-free with that contract extension not looming over your head. So having this done in the summertime would be great. Uh, you you know what the future of Toronto is looking like then. You know what the you know money situation is going to be like uh, in two years' time when you're going to try to build a roster around these guys so uh, I think this is great news to hear if you're a Toronto Maple Leafs fan today because you're going to have your your boy Marner a guy who is not just a great offensive player but an elite uh, forward uh, defenseman as well uh, or uh, elite forward defender as well sorry I mean this guy's just a 200 foot player I've talked on and on about this guy on this channel over this past year about how great his defense is and how great his playmaking ability is and if you just take a look at his stats here obviously this guy has been a phenomenal player for this Toronto Maple Leafs club for quite some time. Obviously, right now, out with that injury, but it is looking very hopeful that he will return very soon. Uh, he's had 62 games played, 76 points, 25 goals, 51 assists, and, and just last season had his career high in points with 99 and 80 games, 69 assists for 30 goals. So, obviously, this is a guy who's going to go out there. He, he's going to get assists. He's going to get a lot of primary assists. Like I said, uh, he has a third eye out there. He's, he has a great nose for passing, great hockey. Hockey IQ, great hockey sense out there on the ice. And he can also pot you a few goals as well. Like we've seen last season, he had 30 goals. So there is potential there for him to have another 30 goal season. And I think there's even more potential there for him to maybe hit 40 goals at some point in his career. Uh, but 
I mean, that's kind of out there. I think 30 to 35 is the range where we're going to see Marner uh, scoring goals. But I wouldn't be surprised if one year he did pop 40 because, I mean, he has a great shot. Obviously, his passing ability is phenomenal. But you got to take a look. Obviously, his shot is great as well. I mean, this kind of gets looked over a little bit with how great of a defender and how great of a passer he is. But he does have a lethal shot as well. And if I'm a Toronto Maple Leafs fan right now, I'm ecstatic, ecstatic to hear this news because a lot of people weren't sure if they were going to hear about a Mariner extension. They didn't think they had the money to do it. They obviously, in my opinion, I do think they have the money to do it because it isn't next year's cap. It is the year's cap after that. So uh, once that... You know, to clear that up, obviously, uh, they would have to uh, get an extension in the works uh, this coming off season or into next season to make this work. But I really do think that this will happen because I think Marner loves playing in Toronto. He loves playing with the best goal scorer in the NHL in Austin Matthews. And I think these two guys are going to be the, the future for now. Uh, of Well, they are the, you know, not the future, but they are the now of the, the Toronto Maple Leafs, but also the future. Because if you lock these guys up over the next five, six years while they're together, they're obviously going to, you know, try to win a few Stanley Cups. And I think they got it in them. But I want to hear from you guys down below in the comment section. What do you think about, you know, a potential Mitch Marner extension? How much do you think it's going to look like? I haven't seen any numbers out there, so I don't want to throw any out at this point. I will keep you updated if there is any numbers that come out. But I want to hear from you guys. What do you think is a great deal for Mitch Marner for his extension coming up this summer? Let me know down below in the comment section. We're going to get into the second topic of the day. Uh, you know, a more... Morbid topic, I guess you could say. Uh, the ECHL affiliate of the Toronto Maple Leafs, Newfoundland Growlers, have been terminated. And yes, as we take a look here from the Athletic on X, they said Newfoundland Growlers are ceasing operations immediately after having their ECHL membership terminated Tuesday by the league's Board of Governors. And obviously, this is heartbreaking news myself. As a, a fellow Newfie, a fellow person who lives in Newfoundland, this has been heartbreaking news for all uh, of Newfoundlanders here over these last couple of days. Obviously, their hometown pro hockey team in the Newfoundland Growlers, uh, you know, ceased to exist a anymore. And it has been really tough uh, for us because, you know, we've had so many pro teams here in Newfoundland. We had the St. John's Ice Caps Winnipeg Edition. We had the St. John's Ice Caps Montreal Canadiens Edition. Uh, we also had the Baby Leafs, uh, the AHL team for the Marlies, or for the, the, I mean, the AHL team for the Leafs at one point. We also had a Q team here in the St. John's Fog Devils, and now Newfoundland Growlers add their name to that list of teams who have folded here in Newfoundland. And, you know, time and time again, uh, we've seen teams fold here. Obviously, uh, the minor, you know, the minor leagues is a hard league to try to make work here in Newfoundland on the Rock due to travel restrictions. You, you basically have to fly in on the island. Anywhere else in the world, you can bust there which, you know, that plays a factor into it as well. But, uh, I mean, it just really sucks to see. Uh, I really feel for the, the long-time Newfoundland Growlers fans here who have been sticking with this team since year one where they won the Stanley Cup in their first ever year back in 2019. I know uh, a lot of these fans are heartbroken today and uh, or, or, or today and yesterday when this news did break. And I'm really sorry that my heart goes out to them. And, you know, the hockey, the hockey market is big in Newfoundland. The ho Newfoundlanders get behind their hometown team and they bring bodies to the rink. They pack the building. They're loud. Uh, and, you know, they've been doing this for years and years uh, for multiple teams that have been here. But the Newfoundland Growlers, I think, have had the best, uh, you know, fans in my opinion I think when they won the Kelly Cup the first year it kind of brought a lot of people who may have been out of coming to hockey games down at the rink back into the arena because their team are the champions they won the Kelly Cup in their first ever year and I'm going to reveal something here that some of you guys probably did not know uh, but me personally I, I have been working with the Newfoundland Growlers over these past three years of my life now and obviously this is bad news uh, for myself but uh, I don't want to think about how it affects me I want to think about the fans and how much it does affect them because uh, obviously my heart goes out to them these guys you know they're so passionate about hockey here on the rock and it really sucks to see you know the team kind of fold here and you not be able to continue their season they only had six games left where they were in the playoff hunt but at the end of the day it is what it is and everything happens for a reason and my me personally, I'm very hopeful. I know a lot of Newfoundland Growlers fans, hockey fans in Newfoundland in general are very hopeful that another team will come along here in Newfoundland in the coming years. Uh, I think this would be great. 
Obviously, uh, it is tough news for all our uh, all of us Newfoundlanders here today that you know one of our pro teams here on the island have you know are no more. It really sucks, and I just want to say you know maybe you're thinking you hear me you know working for the Growlers uh, these last three years. I just want to clear up that I've never had any insider information on the Leafs organization. Nothing like this. Uh, all the stuff that you've seen me report here on Hattrick HQ over this past year has been stuff I've personally seen on Twitter have seen on the internet. I have had no, uh, you know, insider information. I want to make that clear uh, as of now. Just, you know, I don't want people thinking that, you know, I'm, I have an inside link to the Leafs that has never been the case. Uh, but obviously, like I said, it's tough for myself and obviously my heart goes out to all my co-workers too uh, who, you know, now have, uh, you know, lost their jobs because of this. It really sucks. I know that a lot of people in there were really passionate about the work they were doing and it really sucks to see that. I know a lot of them are really going to land on their feet here because they are such great workers such great you know employees of the organization and stuff like this and I do also want to clear up something as well I have you know no ill intent uh, against the owners of the Growlers I have a, nothing but the utmost respect for them for everything they have done for me personally over these last three years I started out as a cameraman filming hockey like you would see on TV and worked my way all the way up uh, into being into a front office role at the beginning of this season and you know my heart, I really had to thank you know the owners for that. Thank you know all the senior staff in there. Just want to give a shout out to Kenny O'Leary in there as well. Uh, he has been such a great boss over these last three years. But at the end of the day, this you know, like I said, it sucks for Newfoundlanders, it sucks for the fans, it sucks for the hockey world in general because there is only one Canadian team now left in the East Coast Hockey League, the ECHL, and that is the Trois Rivière Leon. And all the best to uh, the Trois Rivière Leon. Obviously, they're Canada's team now, they're gonna have Canada behind them in the East Coast lead and they're going to have all of the Growlers fans behind them too I'm sure of it but uh, with that said uh, let me know down below what are your thoughts on the termination of the Newfoundland Growlers uh, I'd love to hear your opinions on this down below in the comment section below but uh, we're going to get nearby's everybody's favorite topic here which is comment of the day and the comment of the day today uh, goes to uh, it goes to my son Dean 13 uh, guy who's been here on the channel quite frequently over this last year He says I predict Matthews will hit 66 goals nice even number, but even 62 would be fine This won't be his last 60 plus goal season further cementing him into the Hall of Fame And I think if you had to ask me at this point is Austin Matthews a future Hall of Famer I would have to say yes I think this guy is one of the best goal scorers of, of this generation of hockey And I think you know he's going to hit 70 this year. I think I'm marking it down as him hitting 70 it's going to be a tough road I think he what does he need nine or eight and eight games or nine and nine games something like that at this point but if anybody's going to do it it is going to be the greatest leaf of all time Austin Matthews you get mad at me in the comments for saying that but I do think uh, that he is the greatest leaf of all time and when he retires he will be the greatest leaf of all time because he's going to bring a Stanley Cup back to Toronto book it down uh, I think this is really going to happen and I wish all the best to obviously Austin Matthews for the end of this season I really hope we get to see 70 it's something we haven't seen in like 30 years I would just love to see this happen but we're if you enjoyed this video make sure down below hit that like button hit that subscribe button uh, we're on the road for 3,500 subscribers here on the channel so if you're looking for a home for daily hockey daily NHL daily Leafs content you found it right here at Hattrick HQ but with that said uh, you know go check out the video we did the other day about Austin Matthews hitting his 60th goal will be popping up on your screen right now but as always I've been your host Casey Keep your stick on the ice.